I hated Tarkov. Hate may be a strong word, but I had serious gripes with the game that made me not want to play it. I would hop into the game after the wipe, you know, play for a couple weeks, get rocked, and then move on because the game mechanics were so bad in some areas that I knew I'd get left behind. Especially when it comes to the gear and the meta, I knew that if I wanted to hop in in about a month or two, there was no way that I could do that and have fun at the same time. So I just didn't play it. I didn't want to play it. I avoided the game altogether, but things change with this patch. My name is Tacti, the tactical gamer dad of the internet, and I am in love with Tarkov. So here's the thing. I had two major gripes with the game. The first one being the recoil. Jesse Kazam has a very good video showing the before and after. He's got a side by side there. I will link that video down below because it is so good and so helpful to see the full changes. But let me just show you the full auto M4 right here with a new player. Previously, like Jesse's video shows, the recoil of the weapon would be everywhere. Your sights would misalign, the front of your rifle would kick up like you're sneezing, but now it is much more manageable. Your sight picture remains reasonable the entire time you're going full auto, which is great because it's just a 5.56 rifle, and it really doesn't kick that hard. The same goes for other rifles in the game. The 9mm MP5 is very easy to manage. Anything else you want to use at full auto is going to be very easy to manage. Everything about this is a huge W. Now, I'm guessing it's going to be changed just a little bit, going to be tweaked with some weapons, because some should be a bit more beefy. But what this means is that as a gamer, you now have more control over where your shots go than some RNG goober weapon mechanics. Here's why that's good. You're on a more level playing field the entire time you're playing, and you have the tools you need to take out that kitted Chad right in the palm of your hands. Almost any weapon can be incredibly deadly. And that is fantastic for people like me. Not only that, but the armor and the hitbox systems have also been revamped, so you don't need the most deadly ammo anymore to take down anyone. You just need a decent shot and a little bit better positioning. All of this to say, you stand a chance now, gamer. We're gonna make it. Well, you know, in, in theory. You see how the system was set up before, the biggest problem here was that people who could essentially know life the game and put all their gaming hours and then some into the game, they would have the most incredible gear while I'm stuck back at level 5 trying to work my way to the flea market. Fun fact here, in all the wipes that I've participated in, which I think is maybe 4 or 5, I have never unlocked the flea market. However, they have now created a way for casual gamers like myself to get into the game and keep playing. Along with the new recoil and armor changes, they've also added a new map called Ground Zero, which is essentially the streets of Tarkov, but on a smaller scale, kind of like factory. It is great. What's even greater about it is that if you're a noob, you're only going to queue up with noobs. So after level 15, where you unlock the flea market, you're only going to be queuing against people who are past that level. Before level 15, you're going to queue up with people below level 15. It's like an intro to Tarkov, and it's fantastic. And I'm going to be there for months because I level much slower than Biden get into his podium for a speech. But all these changes are great for me because it means that even months down the road, let's say I take a break from Tarkov because, you know, I just don't want to play it anymore. I can do that and then I can come back and I'm not going to be at a huge disadvantage because I haven't been keeping up with everybody else. Sure, I'll have some disadvantage because everybody's going to have better gear and armor than me. So I'll have to play a little bit smarter, you know, I have to understand the maps a little bit better. Pick my shots, pick my targets, pick my fights. But knowing I don't have to have all the fancy stuff means that I'll be able to enjoy the game for much longer and whenever I want to. And I almost forgot here to mention the movement changes because now vaulting is in the game. That makes the movement system much, much smoother, even though the, the system does need a little bit of work. Some vaults are just a little bit strange or slow or just don't work right. But I do love the fact that they've implemented it. Now, here's the thing about Tarkov for me, though. As I'm thinking about all the other games available on the market and the games that I've played, games like Ground Branch, Sandstorm, <laughs> World War III, Hunt, why would I play anything else? Especially, unfortunately, Ground Branch. This game is essentially ground branch, but with giant maps and a PvP system that's actually better implemented, better AI. And as much as I love that game, Tarkov now kind of overshadows it. Or like Sandstorm. Supposedly, they're going to continue support, but I don't expect that to last very long. World War 3 is, well, World War 3. Hunt doesn't have modern weapons. Squad is great, but difficult to capture footage in. Content-wise, I have got nothing coming up on my radar until, I think, February. At least new content. It seems like a no-brainer here for me to stick with Tarkov. 
Tarkov does what those other games can't do. And really, I've been asking for a modern extraction shooter for years that doesn't have the recoil system of Tarkov and the unbalanced endgame system. I've been saying that if something like that were to release, it would thrive. And that is what Tarkov just did. They, they turned their game into an unbalanced, weird, recoiled, no fun kind of game to something I can actually enjoy. That's why I was looking forward to Grey Zone Warfare and Beautiful Light. I still am. Those games look fantastic. That Beautiful Light is actually a lot of fun to play. But this is exactly what I was looking for. This was exactly the kind of game that I was hoping for. With this little patch, Tarkov turned to the game that I least wanted to play to now the game I most want to play because it's got everything that I want in it. So I think this game is gonna thrive with newbies now. I think there's gonna be a swarm of people joining the game. And if you're on the edge about it, if you were looking into Tarkov and you weren't sure about the whole systems, now is the time to hop in. You have an opportunity to adjust with the learning curve. There's a chance for you to learn the game before you meet the big boys. It's going to be difficult, it's going to be hard. But for me, if I'm having a good time with the new changes and love all the systems, especially with the new snow system, I forgot to mention that, you're likely gonna have a good time. You're gonna hang with the little guys like me for a while and then eventually meet the big boys and be adjusted and have the game figured out a little bit more and really just stand a chance. So there you go, those are some of my thoughts on Tarkov here. I, I have really enjoyed this patch even though I've hardly survived anything. The game is great now. All it took was that one patch and that along with arena now that you can practice your gunplay and you can practice the systems there, the movements, things are really looking good for Tarkov. They've just done something huge for the game. So that's all for this one. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, subscribe for more. Also give it a like, dislike, all that stuff. You know, I've got to go to a Christmas party. You guys have a great day. Until the next one, be bold, be courageous, stay gray.